All right, welcome to the first video on Arduino fundamentals. What exactly is an Arduino? It is an open source electronic computing platform. It's very easy to use both in terms of its hardware and software. And it's designed for people who might not have technical training with microprocessors, computing systems, or uh, in writing software code. So basically, uh, it is a combination of a board, a hardware, with a computing system right here and a variation of a C programming language called the Arduino uh, language. Uh, we'll use uh, both the hardware as well as software to write code. Arduino does come in different varieties. Uh, we'll be using the Arduino Uno for some of these demos, but there's the Arduino Leonardo, Do, Micro, Mini, Lillipad, Uno, the Yoon, and so forth. In order to use uh, are the Arduino. We're going to uh, connect it to our computer with a USB cable. So uh, install Arduino software, which is freely available from the Arduino website. And once you have that installed and the uh, cable drivers all installed, connect the Arduino to your uh, PC. Uh, then you can bring up the IDE and start to write code. So here is an example of the Arduino IDE. Uh, in the Arduino IDE, the technical term uh, used in Arduino IDE is a sketch. It's basically a program. A sketch, uh, this is the program development environment. The check mark is basically used once you're done writing your code and you want to see uh, if you want to compile it so that you can download it onto the board. You hit the check mark, it will compile it. Uh, this right facing arrow is used to download the code onto the board. You can uh, create a new sketch, you can open a sketch, or save your sketch. So let's, uh, let's get started. Uh, if sometimes you have problems connecting, they're typically related to your COM port or your serial port setting. Uh, make sure you're connected to the Arduino Uno. So under your board, make sure you select, you've selected the Arduino Uno and make sure you are on the right COM port. And that usually is uh, the main source of issues uh, that we see. So what is Arduino C? Arduino is basically a, deriva a derivative of C and C++. Uh, in a upper level programming, uh, in an upper level microprocessors course, we'll be writing program in this form. Uh, in Arduino C, we'll simplify that a little bit and write a little more readable uh, version of the same code. So it makes it easier to, for you to write code. Arduino uh, basically starts with two things. One is called setup and one is called void. So when I bring up an Arduino IDE, here is an example of an Arduino IDE. It automatically has something called void setup and then it has something called void loop. Setup function is called whenever the sketch first starts. It's used to initialize the variables, uh, the pins that are in the uh, in uh, on the computer, uh, and it'll ba basically runs only once. The loop, on the other hand, uh, is comes right after setup. Uh, it, as the name suggests, it basically will cause the program to run over and over and over again. Uh, it's basically used to actively control the Arduino board. Before we get started, just to want to make sure that we are familiar with some terms that we're going to use. A sketch is basically a program you write to, to run on the Arduino board. A pin is either an input or an output connected to something. So we'll, we'll in the first exercise, we will be writing to a particular pin to which a LED or a light emitting diode is connected. Digital refers to uh, voltage values that can be uh, written as either a high voltage or a low voltage, or you can think of it as something that's being either on or a off, or a one or a zero. Analog is more realistic voltage value. It is a continuous, or it's, it's, it's a voltage value from zero volts all the way to five volts. When you talk about analog in Arduino terminology, it basically refers to a number corresponding to zero uh, in the range uh, from 0 to 255, where 0 would represent 0 volts, and 255 would represent something uh, around uh, 5 volts. Okay, so uh, those having no having those terms down, 
let's quickly look at our first exercise. So what we're going to do is in the first exercise, we'll look at a couple of Arduino functions, uh, primarily pin mode, digital write, and delay. So before we start out with these functions, what we want to do is we want to make sure that we use these three functions to make an LED either turn on and off for a given uh, or specified amount of time. Before we go ahead and start writing code, let's see what these functions actually do. So you can click on these links and you'll get to the Arduino reference site. Uh, I've copied uh, the pin mode description, basically what pin mode, as the name suggests, is basically sets the mode of a Arduino pin to either an input or an output. Uh, so for example, here's my Arduino board right here. These are the different pins that we're going to use. Some of these pins are designated as digital pins, so these guys are all digital. Uh, the ones on the bottom right here, there are a total of six analog pins uh, coming in. And then there's a, a variety of power related pins, 5 volts, 3.3 volts, 0 volts or ground, and a much higher voltage that comes in and gets converted to 5 or 3.3 volts. Okay, so these are our power pins. Here's my USB connection. There is a small push button switch right here. And if you zoom in uh, right here on the Arduino, here is a small LED that's connected to pin number 13. So this LED is connected to pin number 13 of the Arduino. Okay, so of these pins right here, digital pins could either be used as an input, meaning I could have a switch that connects to these pins, and from the computer, I might read what the switch is, either on or off. So in that case, the pin is being used to bring a external signal from the switch into the processor. So I'm using my pin as an input. I could also be writing to an LED. So this computer right here wants to write a value to pin 13, which is connected to an LED. So in order to write the value to pin 13, this processor has to output onto this digital port. So pin, pin 13 could be used as an output. So all of these digital pins can either be used as an input or an output. Hence, we need to make sure that we declare each of these pins as either input or output. So the way we would write, these are called functions. So a pin mode is a built-in library function. We would use pin mode by specifying what pin we want to write to and whether we want uh, a write or read from and whether we want to make it an input, meaning we want to read from it, or an output, meaning we want to write to it. So that would be the pin mode. So something else we want to think about, in our first case, we want to blink LEDs. So we want to write to a pin on which the LED is connected. So we are going to write either a logic high, which means high voltage, or a logic low, which means low voltage. So we would use digital write. We'll specify what pin we want to write to and whether we want to write a high or a low. And finally, the third function we want to use in this exercise is called delay. So as the computer runs through different portions of our program and does the different commands we're instructing it to do, we might want a small amount of delay to be added. So we might say, right, uh, turn on the LED for exactly five seconds. So the delay functions would be useful uh, there. Delay is basically uh, used, it's again a built-in function in the in the Arduino library, you specify the total milliseconds you want to delay. So if I want to delay one second, I would write delay 1,000. If I want to delay five millisecond, 5,000 milliseconds or five seconds, I would write delay 5,000. Okay, so that's how we're going to use these three functions. So uh, let's get started here. So here's my Arduino board. So I'm going to write, so pin 13, like I said, is connected to uh, this particular uh, light right LED right there. So I'm going to open my code editor, or in your case, the Arduino IDE. So you're going to see, you're going to see a void setup and a void loop. So the first thing I want to do on setup is I want to do, I want to make sure that my 
pin mode for pin number 13 is set to an output. So the way I do it is I define pin mode, the pin number, and I want to write, I want to set it as an output. Okay, so let's get started here. Uh, so I want to do pin mode, pin mode. These functions are case case sensitive, so we want to make sure that if they are spelled as P-I-N and a capital M, uh, we want to do it exactly the same way. So we want to set pin number 13 as an output. So output is a keyword, so you can write that. Okay, so I have set up now pin 13 to be an output. When the program first runs, it'll get to this point, it'll look at pin 13, it'll, des it'll desire, it'll it'll decide that that particular pin needs to be set as an output. What do we want to do? We basically want to digital write, so we want to write a digital value to that pin. By default, the LED is off, so let's try digital write pin number 13 and a high. Okay. Before we continue any further, Let's make sure that this code actually runs. One of the things to be careful about when you write Arduino code is that every line get, needs to be terminated with a semicolon. Okay, so let me run this particular code on this Arduino. So I'm gonna run this code on the Arduino. So if you notice that, I'm gonna, let me stop the simulation real quick. Stop. Look at this LED that's connected to pin 13. Okay. When I start, you see that the LED lights up and it stays high. So let me go back to my code editor. Okay, so good, we have high. What happens if I change that to a low? Oh, let me stop right here. I'm using a simulator in this particular case. Uh, it, is, it acts the exact same way as if I have a Arduino Uno actually connected uh, to, my uh, to, to my computer right here. So if I try digital write low, and hit start. It wrote a low value on pin 13, which is connected to the LED, so the LED light does not light up. If I change that to a high and hit start simulation, that LED does light up. Now we wanted to basically turn the LED on and off. So what I want to do is I want to light up the LED. I want to light up the LED. And uh, the next thing I want to do is I want to light it up for 1,000 milliseconds. So we use a delay function with 1,000 millisecond value in it. The next thing I want to do, I want to wait. So I wrote, so this line says, write a logic high on pin 13. The next thing it says is wait for one second. So this means wait for one second. So I'm going to write myself a comment. Anytime you start with slash slash, that's basically a comment. You can also write a comment by writing slash star and ending that comment with a star slash. You would use this kind of commenting if you wanted to write comment over multiple lines, so like this. Okay, so that's a way to comment. So I'm just gonna use a simple single line comment, wait for one second. Uh, after this, I want to do. Uh, I want to turn that LED off, and I will again delay it for one second. So this program is going to come. It's going to start up at the setup. It's going to set pin number thirteen to be an output, and then once that's done, it'll move on to the loop. The loop basically keeps uh, running forever. So anything that's in here, it'll do this first line. It'll write a digital value of high onto pin 13. Do the second line, which is it'll wait for one second. Then it'll do a digital write of a low on pin 13. And then finally, it'll wait for one more second. Right after that, it's done with the four lines that we have. So it loops back to the beginning of loop and keeps doing this forever. So if I hit run or start simulation or in your course compile and download that particular code to your board, you should see that this light basically being blinks every second.
Right, let me stop that for a second.